Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Joanne. If you are new to my channel, welcome. On today's video, I want to share with you some of my favorite Amazon purchases with the holiday season upon us. Uh, people are looking for that one special gift for their loved ones. So I want to give you some ideas in case you want to buy something for someone or maybe you want to buy something for yourself. Just FYI, this video is not sponsored by Amazon. They don't even know who I am. These are just purchases that I've made throughout the last few years that have been a positive addition to my life and have, and have helped my day to day. So with no further ado, here are 10 things I bought on Amazon that have helped better my life in some capacity. I'll leave a link to each item I mentioned in the description below. The links are affiliate links, which means that if you do make a purchase but you, and you buy one of the items, I get two pennies <laughs> uh, at no extra cost to you though. So just FYI. The first few items are fitness related. I've been on a health and fitness journey and over the summer I wanted to walk more since it was nice out uh, and then I went and bought sneakers at this running store in New York City, Roadrunners I think it was, or Jack Rabbit, I don't remember, but I spent $130 on those sneakers only to have returned them two weeks later because they were hurting my feet. I don't know what was in those shoes, but they were like killing my feet. So I had to return them and then I went on Amazon and bought walking shoes for $40. I got these walking shoes for $40. That was the best thing I did. They are so comfortable. I wear them to work. I wear them to the gym. So if you need some walking shoes, I will leave the link for those sneakers below. They were only $40 and they were worth every penny. Next, I bought this fitness workout journal where I track down all my workouts and how I'm doing. Uh, like I said, when I started my fitness journey, I wanted to track my progress and I want you know I started going to the gym so I wanted to keep track of all my sets so I could look back you know and see how I progress and how much weight I've increased and or whatever and I went on the app store and I tried to download some apps uh, but they were all like 20 20 dollars a month or a hundred dollars for the year or yada 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 and they were not really what I wanted so I didn't want to spend that money on an app that didn't really have what I was looking for so I went on Amazon and I found this journal, which I think it's like, I paid $9.99 for it and it has six months worth of logging information. So I keep track of my sets, how much weight I use, what I did that day, etc. And I even told my friend about it and he ordered his own. So now we send each other pictures of our day, of our workouts for that day. Uh, just for inspiration. I love this journal. It has been really helpful. So if you are looking for your own journal to keep track of your workouts and your, your fitness journey, I will leave the link in the description. Hi, Lucky. The next thing I bought was this bracelet, which holds a key, and that is the key to the locker at my gym. Well, the locker I use while I'm at the gym. I usually go to the gym after work and I bought a lock to put in all my stuff in the locker and it was just so tedious to carry around uh, a key change around while, while I was trying to work out. So I went on Amazon and I found this bracelet that you know holds the key while I work out. It's stylish, cute and functional. So if you need one for yourself, I will leave the link in the description. So the next thing I bought were these wireless headphones. I had the first generation AirPods and they stopped working. One of them stopped playing and I went online to try to fix it and try to find videos on how to fix it. And I did everything that I saw online and nothing was working. And I didn't feel like buying new head AirPods or paying a hundred and plus dollars for headphones. And I also didn't want to go to the Apple store because the last time I went to the Apple store with an issue, they were like, oh, you're better off buying a new one. And I, this was with my laptop. There was something wrong with it. And they're like, oh, it's going to cost like $1,200. You're better off buying a new one. So I went to a place that fixes computer that's not associated with Apple and they fixed it for like $500. Anyways, the, st the point of the story is that I didn't want to go to Apple because I felt like they were going to do the same thing and be like, you're better off just buying new uh, AirPods. So instead, I went on Amazon 
and I found AirPods for like 30 bucks. I think they were 30, 35. They were $35. They show you on the case how much charge you have left. And once the headphones are connected to the phone, a voice says connected. So they were a great purchase. I can listen to my music on the train, my audiobooks with no problems. They work perfectly. And I saved myself a few hundred dollars because those AirPods are like $200. So for $35, I got some really good headphones. My next purchase is this wallet. I've been looking for a wallet that was big enough to carry all my cards and cash. So I found this, I'm not gonna show, my cards but there's uh, a lot of space here for like your change and cash uh, it holds 15 wallets and it was big enough to put all my receipts cash my cards and the design is so cute it's like a painting which i loved and they have different designs on the um on the store that i got it from it's called forever young and the wallet and the oh my god <laughs> And the wallet was only $23.99 and it was a perfect purchase because I was going crazy trying to find a good wallet and this was definitely worth the $25, so $24 that I paid for. So the next thing that I have, I have to show with my phone, is this floor lamp I have in my room. It comes with a remote and it has four different light settings. I use it to film my videos and you can, hold on, let me see. You can dim it, you can, I don't know if you can, you can brighten it. You can change the, change it to something else. I don't know if you can see uh, an all or white. And you can just turn it off with the remote which is very convenient when I'm in bed and I don't want to get up. Oh wait, did I, now, did I ruin the lighting? Cause I had it for this video now, let me see. No. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So if you need a functional floor lamp that you can use for videos or just to brighten up your room, that is a great floor lamp. And I'll leave the link in the description. The next item I actually designed myself and put it up on Amazon KDP, which is the platform on Amazon that you can self-publish books. And not just books, you can do journals and notebook and sell them on Amazon. So I made a gratitude journal, which is right here. I designed this using Canva and it has prompts. And I've been using, I this is a, an author's copy, which I, pay for and I've been using it for a while now it contains 200 pages and each page have the same prompts that you answer for your day so at the end of the day you can uh, write an affirmation or at the beginning of the day whatever you prefer something good that happened today five or more things that you're grateful for and what are you looking forward to either for today or the next day and how are you feeling today so I made all of this in uh, on Canva and I added it on Amazon KDP. And if you're looking for a gratitude journal to start your gratitude practice in the new year or end the, this year with a gratitude practice, you can take a look at my gratitude journal, which you can find on Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description. The next item I purchased was this Yeti mic which I bought for my podcast. I bought it a while ago. Uh, if, you're, if you're not following my channel, I have a podcast called The Hollywood Dream and I use this mic to record all my episodes and some of my videos here well, when I'm doing like a review or something. It is a great mic. It has a great quali uh, sound quality. It has uh, several settings here where you can record just two people or multiple people. So if you're looking for a mic to either start a podcast with or do your own videos for YouTube, this is a great mic to start with. So I will leave the link in the description so you can check it out. Next, I bought a meditation cushion. I like to meditate and I was meditating on the floor and it was hurting my ankles. And then if I meditated on my bed, I, I would fall asleep. 
So I found this meditation cushion on Amazon. The cushion is so comfortable and it doesn't hurt my feet. I love it. I use it almost every day to meditate. I just lay it down on the floor and I sit there comfortably. So if you're looking to start your own meditation practice and you want to try out a meditation cushion, I will leave the link for this cushion in the description below. And finally, if you need a case for your phone, uh, get it on Amazon. They have really good ones for cheap. I've gotten all my cases, my phone cases from Amazon. I got this one on Amazon and it was only $13. I love it because this area is really thick. So if the phone drops, I never have to worry about uh, the phone the screen cracking um and this only cost me 13 dollars. so if you need an, uh, a case for either an iphone android whatever go on amazon i will leave the link in the description and that is my list oh bonus this shirt i got on amazon too i don't know if you can see it but i just wanted a cute purple shirt and i entered purple shirt stylish uh and i got this for like i don't remember what i got it from 20 dollars 20 but it's cute and stylish so there you have it my 10 things 11 that i bought on amazon that have helped my day to day and have helped my life in some capacity i literally have gotten like a million things from amazon i buy a lot of clothes on there they surprisingly a lot of their clothes are really good i've gotten some bad stuff but like this is really good material and I have, I got a few sweaters that were really good, um, good quality. And like I already mentioned throughout the video, all the links for the things I mentioned will be in the description. Comment down below and share what has been your favorite Amazon purchase. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Come back next week for my next video. And I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Until next time, bye.